Uh, Joe Namath was it. He was Broadway Joe. That was big doings. Now, wait a second. Derek Sanderson was it. You still got it, by the well, way. I but Derek... <laughs> no, you had my moments, but no. You were the long-haired... Uh, you know, you were this, you were a sex symbol, and and I, we're reading. We now find out in the book you didn't believe that at all. You you didn't have that thinking no. about yourself at all. No, never crossed my mind to be that. People used to say things, and it's, you're weird. But I would keep it to myself. It was all a bluff. I didn't. I was afraid of rejection and shyness, and I was uh, just didn't know what to do or how to behave and, and sometimes when you like one of the things that amazed me was sticks and stones will break your bones and names will never hurt me we are the result of the name calling the bullying the hurting people the punch in the mouth doesn't bother you that goes come and go and it, but hurting people is what really makes us who we are i'm wondering if you've dug deeper throughout the book we hear what what a great family you have and they certainly sound like it but you know your dad he was tough yeah, but he was tough. I tell you what, he never forced me to do anything. He said, when I asked him that I wanted to quit school when I was 15. To play hockey. Yeah, to play junior. And, and he, he said, I understood my logic that I could practice an extra three hours a day. He says, but you're making a man's decision. And he says, and you pull us off at 16. He said, uh, you may rue the day you did this. And he cried and it bothered him and he didn't want me to quit school, but I did. And then he woke me up every morning at 7 o'clock when he went to work. He gave me a word to, to write down. And I remember the first word he gave me to understand it was obsequious. My boys never knew it. I didn't want them to play hockey. And, you know. Why? I, I, you have to be, a, a, you have to want to love it. You want to die for it. You want to kill to make it. And there's not very many people make it. And I kind of didn't want them to have that heartache. But, uh... They both could skate pretty good. When the first time I let them, and I said, maybe I should have let them play. <laughs> but uh, I didn't want them. It, it's a, it's a, a violent game. And if you don't have the nature to take this sport on head to head, it's maybe you're better off getting an education. Well, you know what I'm wondering? Do you think you really had the nature? You were, you were the enforcer. You know that you were the gloves off, hold the hair. You know, you were the fighter. But I, I'm reading about this. I'm thinking, no, not inside. No. I didn't, uh, I hated bullies. The only reason I fought when I was a kid because I hated people picking on people. And it's the only things I got in fights for. There's, of course, the iconic picture of Bobby Orr yeah. flying through the air, and you uh, passed that uh, shot to him. Do you, I mean, can you describe that feeling? That feeling, uh, I was really happy for him. He for deserved, you? John, he deserved it. I know when you're a team, the most important thing, I think John Havlicek said it best, it's the winning of it. The winning of it. That we're all in it together and you're in it with a coach, one coach, one trainer, and, and you're in it together. Okay, but back to your boys and we'll wrap it up with this idea of, um, you know, they didn't know uh, those great moments. In fact, they when they heard that I, I I think you were even recently named like top twenty five. Oh yeah, athletes. Of okay, there's a, there's a good because that's a good story. What was that? What were you named? GQ. Uh, uh, it was twenty five coolest athletes in history, <laughs> and I was the only hockey player. And Joe Namath they had, and Ken, Kenny Stabler and Tom Brady they had, and I came down in the morning, after, and Michael and Ryan are sitting reading it. And I, you know, just got my underwear on, my T-shirt, <laughs> hair's all a mess. And they looked at each other and said, and this is the coolest? <laughs> How could you be? I said, you weren't there, son. Big difference, son. And it's, uh, but that was a good story for them. 